something to remember on this thing is that if you run it, usually that intake valve will stick. Always on here, right in the front. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to it's just. Just when you get ready to start it, check the valves. Oh, yeah. yeah. I need it. Okay, I can't do much, but I can do a little. Yeah, you can. I mean, this this don't move, but when you're setting it. Safety man first, you know. Okay. Did you, Rob, did you explain to Gordon what could happen on those? Yes, I did. Okay. On these, uh, the check valves? <laughs> oh, the air valves. There's okay. one on either cylinder. Yep, he yeah. did. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Right. Turn on and crank up. Get your chair. Yeah, right. I'm right here. <laughs> I get my board just in case. So Gordon, I'm probably I'm not gonna worry about the fuel in the tank getting pumped up here because it's always a problem. I'm gonna periodically take my fuel. your gas rag yeah. you do know about using gas instead of ether don't use no ether gas a little bit just crank the hell out of it well i can't get my my uh, coming started without gas right. <laughs> well we were in the we were in the excavating business here for my dad did it and my brother and i took it and went on with it and I saw guys use ether and blow them and all that. Gasoline, a little bit on the rag, it'll crank them. The one crank up and it was so cold and it was back there, what was it, 22 degrees? And that son of a bitch cranked with nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking about the... Uh, I got a video of that. About the belt dressing? Yeah. That belonged to my dad. <laughs> well, we've had it forever, and I finally yeah. found it. I couldn't buy none. Absolutely could not buy it. I've got a stick of mine that an Amish guy gave me. Yeah. Just, I, 30 years ago? Yeah. I just don't know if it... And, and surely he, they have it. You can buy it in a spray can. It I've ain't worth a I've looked everywhere for, a, for another... Because my stick is about that size, and the only thing I'm using it on right now is a... Yeah. Uh, I've you got, got a another flat belt. Now. I've got a flat belt <laughs> drill has. press, and I run it on that. Because <coughs> I'm running the same kind of transmission belt on that drill press that you're oh, yeah. running that. I should have stole the crank guard from my engine. We didn't think about that, damn it. <laughs> no, that's a loner. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, that is my... Now, I, actually, I got one. It's Don't got a bunch of holes in it. I fiber filled it from yeah. the back side. Yeah. It ain't no problem. But... Body man can pound those out. The needle valve, you know, they're 
and oh, I've got no, like I said originally it's got some holes in it, and I did. I took some epoxy so, on the inside anyway, of it. Yep. Then I just right. greased it. It'll up probably just make the difference. It. You may want to crank it at home when you get home and show it or whatever. So the other uh, when we first cranked it uh, in December, I was flooding the heck out of it. So usually when I turn it over, I stuff the choke plate, but I'm just going to leave it where it is, put a little gas in the air intake there. So, okay. So here we go. That's a box of electric down there, George. Yes, it is. He'll have to build him a jump box or he's probably got some. That's what I'm using this year, I think.
hold it, you can pump it a little bit more. You're pumping a little bit of pressure. Yeah, on your gauge okay. there. Okay, how much pressure are you putting on it? It'll bypass. Okay. I think it's about 40. Okay, and it'll start bypassing. That damn Steve Wilson got hold of me and wanted to know if I had any gauges. Yeah. You know, good gauges. Well, I got, they're laying in there. Ah, oh, no, they want something better than that. I, okay, buddy. <laughs> but they were brass gauges like that. Grass rag. A grass rag. Grass, grass rag. rag. I got a grass rag. <laughs> So where, where are we setting this? I'm sorry. Where are we setting this? <laughs> he will. Yeah, you pay attention to Rob. Okay. He may have to do it the second time. You got two places. It's a 50-50 it, it shot. It starts, it's putting air on both cylinders, right? <laughs> one cylinder. Yes, it does. It rolls okay. on Yeah, one. It pushes one, on one. One, one, one cylinder, the other one's for the second cylinder. Right. Yep, I got you. So okay. this is what I was looking at. So this is your air in. Yep. These are your two valves timed off of that can. Right. So you are using both air, both cylinders to start. So you should be able to put that in two different places. That's right. Okay. But you can still be 180 in the wrong. That's right. So okay. how are you? You watching one of the cams? Is that what you're the doing? The cam is supposed to indicate it. I can't really remember. It's a 50/50 shot. Right. If okay. it don't go, I'll roll it around. Okay. So. So let's just look at it. You may remember that's about 9 to 11 o'clock, really. Okay, so this rotation doesn't matter which way you go to get it to line up. If you can go back the other way, I don't get it. Now it's got full compression again. It does. Okay. And then, is there anything you got to do? I mean, no, he pumped that up. And well, he, I'll pump this another lick okay. or two here. And all you're doing with that is getting pressure ahead on your supply rail. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. We got about 40. Okay. This and valve here is the, the go switch. <sighs> I'm in the right position. I'm going to start turning. Okay.
you shut it down by taking the compression away? That's how you shut down. That's what Rob said. I believe you. I just...